Uh, hi, my name is Craig Allen, and I'm the CEO of Spark Unlimited. We're a video game developer in Sherman Oaks, and our first title was Call of Duty Finest Hour. We helped launch that for the consoles, and uh, currently we're working on a project called Legendary, which will be out this fall, which is about mythological creatures battling in a modern world. It'll be pretty cool. And uh, I'm here at the show today mainly because uh, there is this idea of convergence coming back again, which is kind of exciting, and um, games are about connecting people. So if we're talking about connected media, uh, games are something that can really anchor that interaction and create a social dynamic that we think is really exciting. But from our perspective, uh, there really aren't any more discrete platforms. There's just one platform, which is the connectivity between the audience and the content that they want to connect to. So one of the challenges, I think, with traditional media versus the idea of the new media paradigm is we've created all these business lines built around specific verticals, like there's the Apple you know, iPhone, there's my console game system, PlayStation, Xbox, there's my PC computer, and we have all these lines of business that are about uh, finding the right partners and the right distributors and the right uh, rights holders to access the audiences on these discrete systems, but going forward, there's really just connectivity. There isn't territorial boundary, there isn't time boundaries, there aren't uh, format boundaries, and so how do we build a new business model that recognizes valuing the content, not really valuing the P&L of a specific line of business? I think that's the big challenge. I think the distributors will increasingly become bigger marketing entities. I mean, I think you already see that in the studios. The studios used to be heavily, heavily uh, integrated completely with you know wardrobe companies and and uh, makeup and costumes and actors under contract. And over time, they shed all those things, allowed for more specialization, and really focused on marketing and financing and outsourcing everything else. I think you're going to see that the there's going to be people that specialize again in marketing and launching to specific targeted demographics, uh, the kind of content that audiences want to connect into, and that's going to be their speciality. And the bigger the network, uh, the more marketing and more kind of variety of content they can leverage, the audience will still need to know about content that they can access. Marketing is not going to go away, but the format of how you market to your audience, how you reach your audience is going to change dramatically. You're not just going to broadcast it out as a network spot that goes out to everybody. You're going to want to be very targeted with your advertising dollars and really find the audience where they're playing with the content. That, that's actually one of the most significant shifts right now in our industry in terms of traditional game creation is uh, we have had this very kind of insular model where everything happens under one roof. You're starting to see as production budgets have gone up, more specialization. We're seeing a lot of outsourcing to, uh, to Asia, to India. We're seeing uh, different companies specializing in different parts of the production. And you're starting to hear the workers uh, ask for certain rights, uh, quality of life. Uh, there's starting to be some lawsuits that are, have gone around where people are trying to say, look, you need to recognize our contribution to the product. And I think you are going to see, if not unions, certainly more um, kind of wide specialization and more standards that allow for more of a film model production. Um, turnaround now to get a big budget game can be up to nine months just to do the deal. You can't support a big company for nine months of negotiation to get a project. So it's going to force these kind of shifts where you can have uh, our own development hell. In games, development has meant production historically. And I think uh, in the next couple of years, development will mean you're thinking about it, not that you're actually doing it.